Welcome to another stream and hopefully we got it sorted with all these uh, five second dropouts every minute. So it seems the software that I've been using before, ACO Link Pro from Odeos, um, it seems that the software is dead. So there's no reaction from the support. I can't reactivate it and things like that. So. It just didn't work anymore and I found a new solution and this is kind of a test run to check everything if it's working in regards to streaming and getting everything uh, into into OBS, into the open broadcaster software to stream the stuff. And actually uh, it's an overall improvement in my opinion because now I can not only grab the audio from my DAW, uh, but also, as you just heard uh, with that short demo from uh, Flu Shorts, that it now actually grabs the system audio as well. Um, so hopefully uh, it works everything on your end. Let me know if there are any audio issues or something like that. And uh, I decided to not just test the audio but also give it a proper stream uh, since just finished downloading uh, newly released fluid shorts from performance samples and if you just heard a little demo it's all about short staccato strings so there we go and yeah, we're going to take a look at this library today. Jasper was kind enough to send it over to me to have a play around with it. And uh, as you can see here, it sells for 49 Enterprise right now and goes up to 79 on July 24th. Uh, Performance Samples is the company behind Mastermind Jasper Blanc. Um, he did the Oceania uh, Performance Choir that I did a stream not so long ago, uh, released the River Piano and even some freebies like the Solo Violin Legato, which is pretty cool. And um, so yeah, let's take a look at the library, what's in there. And uh, then we going to see what we can do with it. Um, as I've said, since I'm testing a new uh, streaming software or, or software that grabs the audio stream, in that case, I'm using voice meter. Uh, you can find anything about that here. That is vb-audio.com. And it's actually uh, donationware, so it's more or less free, but you can decide what you want to uh, donate. And it's running pretty smoothly so far. So, yeah. Let's check this out if it's working as it's intended to work. And um, we're grabbing the ASIO from Cubase and here we go, flu charts. Uh, I personally really like that new approach of developers to do something very specific and concentrate on just one articulation or one, one group of articulations and doing just that, but do it extremely well. So we will see if Fluid Charts uh, promises what it seems to be delivering, uh, namely string short articulations and just that. So um, from the website, uh, there's an information. We, we're going to look at that in a little bit with normal and tight, what that means. And uh, what is it? It's a short string library for all four groups, basses, cellos, violas, and violins. And let's just dive right in and load a patch here and just play a little bit around. According to the information on the website, these short articulations are derived from actual performances. So not that they played single notes and uh, sampled that, but it's actually cut out from performances. 
Um, not really sure how many round robins there are. Uh, maybe we can have a look under the hood. Uh, seven looks like seven round robins. What I can tell from here. And and you get three mic positions. So let's uh, bring these all up to zero and compare them. So we have close mic. Then we have the dagger tree. Finally, we got a white mic position. No other control there, so mod wheel isn't doing anything. They are velocity sensitive. It seems like these are three uh, dynamic layers. Uh, let's just reload the patch to bring it to initial state. So close mic is a little bit down, wide mic is a little bit down, mostly decatry sound here. And according to the website, um, there is, uh, we, we dive into detail what the two versions are, the tight and normal. So tight is, reacts pretty good on playing um, and the normal version there's a little bit space between the initial attack of the note and when you play it so there is a recognizable lag between pressing the key and hearing the sound and so for it seems that for actually playing stuff into the DAW, the short, tight versions might be the better opinion or the better choice. And let's just put something in eighth notes down here. Now we can repeat that. And even with the tight cut it samples so with the tight version you hear that they're a little bit behind the click and kindly enough Jasper provided the information how much of a delay there is so the tight version have an 80 milliseconds delay and the normal versions have a 127 milliseconds delay so when you adjust the uh, time delay for the track in Cubase you do it down here minus 80 milliseconds and then we now you can hear that the violins are pretty much on the click and when we load the normal patch it even gets a little bit more behind the click if we set that back to zero So this is what the samples sound without the delay compensation. And when you put the 1 minus 27 negative track delay, you get them back on the grid. And um, for now, I'm going to change that to the tight versions to play something in and to play a little bit around with it. And then we see what a difference it makes in the sound when we use the 80 second, the tight version, and the 127 milliseconds uh, track delay on the normal versions, and see what it, what of a difference it makes in the over, in the overall sound. So, um, without further ado, this is well not violins one, so there is just one violin patch, 
as I've said, violins, violas, cellos, and basses. And we're just going to play a little bit around with the patches here. And I'm going to duplicate this viola, duplicate this cello, cello, no, it's cello, and duplicate this again for the basses. So we just need to load the corresponding patch, so bass is tight. I don't touch the mic positions for now, we will take a look at that a little bit later in mixing cellos tight and violas tight. There we go. So what we have now is a forest section. Let's recolor that. Green is my color of choice for strings. So we can go with that. Um, but not least. It overall sounds like they are recorded in position, so when we play all at once... straight in. Uh, let's go with something faster here to check out how they behave. Um, let's go with a four bar here. Um, let's go with 16th notes at 150 and see how that sounds with a little lick from the strings. that. notes in the violas. So the question, Gurmela, do you produce every track on stream? M for most of the time, yes. Sometimes I just do uh, overviews of demos that I've done for other libraries, but most of the time I try to come up with something live. Thank you. 
try this for the cellos. <laughs> Together, cellos and violas. And with the violins. So actually what I want to do is uh, duplicate the whole thing. Put it down here. So let's name this 80 because I want to compare how what a difference it makes between the 80 millisecond track delay and the 127 millisecond track delay. Well, to be correct, it would be minus 127, but well. Let's go with that. So what I'm doing here is I push that over there and just rename the tracks. And oh, no. <laughs> OK, next question is uh, whether I always stream when I produce. No. Definitely not. So um, often, uh, way often more I produce without streaming. So I do a lot of more stuff than just the streams. Um, so let's change the patches here to the normal instead of the tight. So violence normal. And change the track delay to minus 127. Minus 127. And this is Viola normal. Then we have cello normal. Bring that up. And last but not least, the base is normal. So we can so now we have every patch loaded that is available within the library. And we can check them out how they work. So minus 127. And forgot this one, minus 127. So now let's listen to how they sound next to each other. <laughs> So there is obviously a difference. The tight version sounds a little bit tighter in itself, whereas the normal versions sound a little bit more loose, lively, whatever you want to call it. sounds very very real and this is pretty cool um, let's add in another baseline here um, like just simple one <laughs> Just put them side by side here. So the the differences between the two versions, it's really just a tiny nuance, uh, very subtle, but nevertheless it 
makes a difference, especially if you're here without the click. I just let it run through for two more times. <laughs> Let's check that at different tempos. So how do they behave when we get really slow? Sounds pretty good to my ears. Uh, let's go with uh, 180, just as a last test. So the violins would hate you for that, <laughs> definitely, for playing that live. But, well, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I like the sound of it. Um, so let's see if we can just come up with something little here. Um, like cello riff, for example. Or maybe let's uh, first play a little bit around more with the mic positions here. So we want more of a close sound. Let's bring the, well, the close mic all the way up, bring the decker a little bit down, say minus three, for example. Okay, I can click that. So if you hold down shift and dial the knob, uh, it reacts more smoothly. So. stuff so let's say minus eight and minus six I like this combination gives you more of a dry sound and um, Cool, so zero, six, and eight. Let's uh, just put the other stuff zero, six, and eight. Just do the same mic setup for all four string sections zero, six, and minus eight. Last but not least for the violins as well. So we get a little bit more of a dry sound and then we can decide to use our own reverb in case needed. And as usual, I always go back to the new slate reverb. Da, da, da. There we go. And I just love the Boston Hall there. And here on the strings, let's take all of these. We are going to send them to the verb and let's say minus 10. So that should give a good amount of reverb. 
Without the reverb. So, what tempo do we have? something well oh, 38 yeah let's try this so um okay let's go with eighth notes together. I think that sounds better. Towns together. Uh, let's see, that's a tremolo line in the violins here. Do like 
this and overall bring it a little bit down. So. <laughs> this and No idea. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Oh, well, I got another idea here. Uh, let's try to. Getting there, that's a nice sound. Ah, damn it. That's nice. So that, uh, damn it. And overall, let's put these together, and we're going to. this part so I will only do this in the second time Okay, we're getting
getting there. Um, let's duplicate this track and bring in the performance sample solo violin. This is a freebie patch, so grab it while it lasts. It's available on the performance samples website, and I think it's a really great, nice little solo violin. So let's bring that in. Something like that. A little bit of improv on top. Try to quantize that a little bit. thematic movement there so try to do a little bit more with it <laughs> Let's push that person on its own. Also, I guess we need to push that back minus 100 or something like that. Sounds good. I think there's one node at the wrong place. And let's push these back. that again. I'm not going to worry about different uh, reverb settings now. I just want to quickly slap something together. So let's stick with performance samples here and uh, load a little bit of the woman. Simply love their sound. mic setting there. Um, let's see. So I'm going to duplicate this guy again and I want to see what I played here. So do it like this. Yeah, something like that. So let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so let's go with this. Uh, actually, we need to. That is women, and let's give it a little bit of beef. So we go to the inserts, dynamics, waves, CLA 76, and give it a little bit of. Uh, what it would do? Female vocal, rock my vocal. Yeah, let's go with a, just the basic vocal setting. Oh, let's try this. Same line as the violin is playing. That's a little bit too far front, so I think, yeah, minus 70 is a pretty good value for the Oceania choir. And let's check this out. Hi, why do you prefer to sort libraries on HDD by manufacturer name and don't sort it by purpose, orchestral guitars, etc.? That's actually a good question. I think, uh, yeah, I like to, to have it sorted by manufacturer. It's just, it just evolved over time. There's no special reason behind it. It's just the way I, I handle stuff here and, and uh, I'm used to know uh, when I'm looking for a specific sound, where to go. So when I want a specific string sound, I know that I'm heading into the ADO folder or the music assembling folder or even look through the library panel uh, here on, on contact and say I want to go do some Spitfire stuff or whatever. So, yeah, it's no special reason. It's just I, I prefer it that way. Other people sort by instrument type I sort by developer sorry so there's that um, let's give it another short listen and quick mixing here I guess that I'm going to bring down or actually we don't need the Q sent here uh, so uh, let's Bring the violins down to, say, minus five, uh, the strings, not the violins. So that we have some more room for the solo violin and the choir could actually get even a little bit more oomph. So let's load the, I think the rock my vocal patch is pretty solid for that to bring it more to the front. So 
this is that. Um, let's go with this part again. <laughs> this together. Let's create a group here. Uh, yep, zero. Keyword shorts. So, okay. I think we can get rid of the other uh, 127 strings. That was just for presentation purposes in the beginning. So we can get rid of these. I'm working with the 80 tight version now. Um, <laughs> Pretty interesting to hear the difference with and without the reverb. Um, so I think since we grouped them, we can get rid of the reverb here and send them all into the reverb at the same time. With minus 10. So, and one thing, uh, since I'm still trying out the streaming software and, and the buffer size settings and stuff like that, I will change that because we're running into some So, um, I hope that works better with the overall performance. So, let's check that out. Mm, where do we have it? Ah, that looks way better. Right now, we were above here with a real-time peak, close to 60%. So that looks a little bit more comfortable. So let's save this for now. Uh, this is uh, CWEI. Let's do a new folder. No, it's maples. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I didn't even save one time till now, and the stream is running for close to an hour already. So, uh, fluid shorts. There we go. Fluid shorts, and so let's bring up um, virtual mix rec. I just upgraded everything to get the latest um, plugins and new additions they have within the mix rack. Um, there we go. Uh, so there's some new stuff with uh, uh, preamps and stuff like that. So for example, the Hollywood one. <laughs> can add a little bit of warmth. Let's get rid of the very, very low end. Maybe the FGS will be better for that. strings.
just want to grab the peaks and smooth it out a little bit. sounds wobbly here since I'm trying out a new way to to stream and uh, using a new software to grab the ASIO stream can you be a little bit more precise what do you mean with stream sounds wobbly so is it overall sounding bad or because I can't check the audio of the stream right now myself um, so I'm just hoping that it's running smooth somehow <laughs> Just add a little bit of shine on top. So bring back the solo violin and the choir. Sounds like a tape machine when the short notes are playing, your voice is fine. Well, yeah, um, hmm. hard to tell because this is the first time that I'm trying this software today. It grabs the mic directly from the audio interface and actually I get the output from Cubase through the virtual input here. So I need to see if that's the correct way of handling it. Otherwise I would need to try out a little bit more um, so what I'm yeah not not sure as I, I just hear the output of this mixer on my headphones and it sounds everything fine on my end uh, here and uh, I assume since the stream grabs this signal as well that it should be fine in streaming the audio as well. But uh, as I've said, the first time I'm trying out this today, I'm going to recheck afterwards and listen to the audio from the stream uh, myself and, and see if it's just an issue on your end or if it's an overall issue with, uh, with the streaming sound. Uh, so for now, I try to uh, keep going. So two guys already writing, they don't have any problems in the sound. So hopefully uh, it's working out this way. Um, what else do we need here? I think we're just at a little bit of percussion. So let's duplicate this guy. And no idea what we're going to use. Let's use a little bit of, I think I just, uh, grab the heaviosity master sessions stuff haven't even added edited it here uh, did i add it to the libraries doesn't look like that there's a bunch of stuff missing right now uh, i wanted to rearrange that window anyway currently i'm more or less downsizing and getting rid of a lot of stuff that i don't use anymore so um it's pretty packed right now and I want to change that. So um, anyway, uh, loading a little bit of percussion here or maybe with the damage stuff. Ah, that might be t too heavy. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, let's go with some uh, HZ stuff from Spitfire Audio. Start with the low booms. JXL full mix. Rather 
right? It sounds too big for what I want to achieve, so let's try the Tycho. There's ton of reverb on that, so. Hmm. Strange sound there in the tail of Samples. I think that might work. Okay, I'm totally lazy today. Uh, it's early morning still here, like 11 a.m. No, <laughs> not that early morning. Um, but um, we're going to shorten that a little bit and just use a little bit of some ethnic stuff here. Okay, not that lazy. Let's at least combine some stuff here. Maybe that's even enough. I don't want too much of a distraction. Uh, so this is heaviosity, master sessions, ethnic drum ensemble, loops, breakout one. Always name your tracks so you know what kind of patch you loaded in case you miss anything when you reload it. What is Let's start with this one. This one. Nice. One in the second repetition. Give that a little bit more oomph. And actually, there's something wrong with the timing because this needs to be spot on zero milliseconds. whole thing and then that sounds good yeah let's go with 
this one. And... This one. No, I don't like either the neither of these sounds. Why is what is happening here? Missing. better and so I'm going to duplicate this guy and bring in what do we have here uh, something from the old deep percussion bats from Cine samples so we are 144 Arrival of Makula 142. That, okay. <laughs> Perfect. So this is an example of a library that is not sitting there anymore where I initially put it. Uh, so I just need to check out where I actually have it. Let me go through my sample drives for a little moment. I know it somewhere it is, but the question is where? Uh, where did I actually put this library? Sin samples? No, not there. Searching, searching, searching. So the drums of war two? No. Last possibility would be there. No, not there. So it can only be there. Uh, that's actually an HDD. Yeah. There it is. So let's check this out. Uh, we are on S in the samples, deep percussion bass. There we go. Uh, so let me get rid of these guys here because that doesn't work anymore. Delete from quick load and then we are going to add these guys back in. So there we have it fixed. And what did I say? Arrival of Makala. So let's just add in this little deep percussion loop. See how that sounds together. stuff going on there and for the last two bars yeah actually that ends on that last hit there should work <laughs> This guy here sounds not good at all, so we need a little bit more of 
this guy and bring that up. So actually this is citizen those deep percussion bats 19 here from uh, Heaviosity, so we are going to do a little bit of scent there. Not as much as the other stuff. Let's listen. Should work. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this guy again and use damage symbol menu. So bring that up again. Damage. Da -da 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 -da. Metal Studio so, Single Performance Effects Symbol Menu Studio. There we go. Bring the close mic a little bit down. I love the symbols here. Turn that a little bit down. <laughs> So bring that up a little bit more, put these guys Switch that off and do group. So let's put that on repeat here. just to be safe, <laughs> and uh, give a little bit of slate compression here. I'm doing longer attack, fast release. gets a little bit more definition uh, maybe four might be better just grabbing the peaks here What about to reduce the amount of compression and percussion? What do you mean by reduce the amount of compression?
except for the percussion here. to do is uh, we duplicate the choir track here I want to use the performance samples rises that are included as well performance samples Oceania instruments man rises there we go are timed differently so we want to have them sit right there here's this one Let's see if it fits to the beat no it doesn't so it should be somewhere here A little bit of tweaking and then we're going to uh, not sure whether they react to mod wheel um, let's try that out uh, we'll use the preview brass well, actually, I don't even have that. Uh, so, but the idea is not too bad. So why not just head over to the website? Performance samples and um, download them and check them out if we want to use them in the in the track we're doing. So there's the legacy selection. And Angry Brass Christmas Drinks. So let's grab this. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm going to do that offside. everything there we go and and there we are and then oh forgot to agree so Cool, so actually I should get an email in a second or so with a download code. Let's check that out. Your purchase of legacy selection. There we go, sites fast spring. No, that's the actual bill for zero dollars. <laughs> That's a cool thing about freebies. There we are. Okay, so we have a download code and we're using Continuada to download this stuff. Ah. paste this here and say download download performance samples 
So, okay. Should be a minute or something like that, and then we are going to check out the brass. Uh, Until then, we're going to listen to what we've done so far. Give it a proper spin, because I need to head away for a second, and we're waiting for the download to finish. This is what we've done so far with uh, mostly performance samples instruments. And regarding the uh, comment on compression on the percussion, we will have a look at that later. I think the, the master on some percussion is compressed to the hell, and maybe we exclude that from, the, from compressing it on our end. Uh, nevertheless, this is what we have so far. <laughs> So, back again. Sorry for that break. But, uh, initially I wanted to tweak the volume of the riser from the man here a little bit. Mm, so since it doesn't react to mod wheel, we're doing it with expression. So this should give us a little... can even put that down a little bit more. Maybe even a little more. So. Let's check the percussion again with a uh, I think it might be a good idea to exclude the heaviosity stuff from the uh, dynamically treated. Oh, now I know what's happening. We copied the setting of the CLA. That's why they sound so overcompressed, because they are overcompressed. That sounds way better. this guy so that should work better So meanwhile, the download for, for the freebies from, uh, what's happening here? So no, 
now close. Uh, so the previews have downloaded from performance samples. So there we go. Performance sample. There we can go. So legacy selection, Angry Brass, Christmas strings, and documentation as well. That is great. So let's cut this out and put it onto my sample drive performance samples where we go where we are there we are okay move that over there ta-da and we have brass and stuff so let's duplicate this guy this is the double base and we don't want to send this to the blue charts but to stereo out give it a little bit of reverb just for the sake of having it making it yellow this is angry brass I have no idea what's actually included in this uh, package so uh, let's take a look we have performance samples on drive E. There we go. Performance samples, legacy selection, Angry Brass. Angry Brass horns, trombones, trumpets. didn't even know about that so it seems like this is um, Mercado samples Nice, 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 nice. So, okay, some horns. Uh, not sure what we're going to do with them. Horns. Okay, they're a little bit too quiet compared to the rest. duplicate the melody line there although I quite like how the sound uh, how the choir sounds with the solo violin Let's see. Might be not too bad of an idea to bring the horns in there for the main melody. Quantize that a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. 
duplicate this and we have trombones. Check this out. I mean, we're now just throwing them in for the sake of having them. Something like a little bit bass, bass chords, something like that. Sounds together. Not too shabby. And, well, listen to the whole thing again. Sorry for repeating that often, but I just want to see how that sounds and uh, duplicate the man riser there. <laughs> Brass is way too early because we copied the string settings. Actually, the horns were quite well, but uh, let's say minus 20. I need a click here for the brass alone uh, to check it out. Our brass is a little bit running as well. Let's say minus 40. kind of strings is it in the freebie folder? Let's check it out. I have no idea because I have a Christmas 2016 strings. Full strings effects. Full strings Mercados. Spiccados. Lowest 
strings. That might be a nice add-on for the ending. Just for the last note. So, creepy low strings. So, um, we need to mangle the volume of the percussion a little bit more. And then we're going to duplicate the mix rack into the master channel. Get rid of this stuff, add in, let's go with British. So I'm going to do this. And just do a short run here. Watch your speakers, we're going to add a little bit of um, volume. here to 
actually just in the first part. And why is the percussion that soft? There's a little bit too much very low end on, on the heaviosity percussion, so we are going to fine tune that a little bit. Go to the channel, audio inserts, and use Fab Filter Pro Q2 and add a very steep curve and filter out everything below, let's say, 28, 30 hertz, something like that. So we shouldn't get that much of a rumble. better and it helps the final limiter to keep its cool a little bit more because there's not so much rumbling going on which interferes with a uh, uh, maximizing compression <laughs> Nice little cue, nice little library to be honest. So I really like, I dig the, the sound of the short strings. That's pretty cool. I love these little libraries that just do one thing but do it really, really well. Said that in the beginning, like uh, Oceania is just all about performance. I mean, the name of the company is Performance Symbols. So <laughs> what else do you expect? Performance uh, is great. Uh, you can do a lot of more stuff. I will try to later on to, to layer with other string libraries or bring other stuff in there. I wanted to focus on just using a little bit of the library today and uh, uh, coming up with something. Don't need to read there. Um, overall, neat little library. Grab it for introductory price of $49. Goes to $79 on July 24th, I think. Um, yeah, nothing else to add there. There is that uh, one thing we could do at last maybe is to use the normal version instead of the tight, which overall even sounds a little bit more lively. Uh, we had 068, keep that in mind, zero. Zero, six, and eight. Initially, I deleted the copies that I made. Uh, the, um, so, zero, six, eight. And then we actually need to adjust the negative track to lay to minus 127 according to the information that uh, performance samples gives on their website. And these samples are cut more loosely, but they sound even a little bit more real than the tight version. The tight version is great for playing stuff in, but um, 
the normal version is great for playback when you can adjust like I'm doing now uh, when you can adjust that afterwards so viola cello again minus 127 and we're changing the patch here to the cello normal again we're doing 0 minus 6 and minus 8 in case you don't know if you adjust these values and they're jumping too fast if you hold down shift you can slow down the value it increases or decreases that's pretty nice and last but not least the basis let's go with a minus 127 as well and check out the basis normal instead of the tight bring that down to minus six just want to have the same mic setting as i did with the other one and let's see how this sounds overall <laughs> note bring the modulation a little bit down <laughs> Blaring. And let's do the strings as well. I can even hear the difference. Uh, how long it takes for the note to actually sound with a normal patch. So there's definitely a lot of delay beforehand, but if you compensate for that, it sounds pretty cool. So, that shall be it for today. Uh, checking out performance samples fluid strings as I've said grab it for 49 bucks on the website at the website uh, till July 24th uh, afterwards it's 79 I think uh, final result of today's stream is this thanks for watching and have a great week everyone